For now, in this video, I thought I would look at an interesting part of this uh, power supply that I don't really use in any of my videos. I touched on it on one or two videos, and uh, somebody asked me about these pins, and I think now is when I'm finally uh, getting to that. So that was a long time ago I got asked. But in any case, you can see we got eight pins right here in the uh, middle, and they'll lose focus. But uh, there we go. The uh, front two, right there, on the left there, it's got 3.3 volts. No, it's hard to read. The uh, back two, it says 5 volts. And then all four of the pins to the right are ground pins. So connecting to one of these pins is just like connecting to one of the blue rails there. And so, what's that for? So over here, I have another load. It cannot be powered by the uh, breadboard, as we have it now and I do have some jumpers that go across there but uh, we don't have to do that especially if you have a lot of these uh, female there's the female side to uh, male jumpers right there that's one jumper so it'd probably be best to plug into the uh, rail first because the male end is easier to short circuit something out there we go the uh, female side which is nice uh, shouldn't connect with anything metal and uh, so we can put the black one on any of these ground pins doesn't matter as I said all the grounds are always connected and so yeah red one though we want 5 volts so we're gonna go to the back one or it could go to the one closer so there's 5 volts if we want 3.3 .3 volts we can scoot it over to the uh, front and I can't really see what's going on there there we go so it should not be as bright there It's 3.3 .3 volts and then now it is 5 volts right there so in any case that's uh, what we use it for so now I'm going to disconnect the uh, positive side of the rail so grounds are still connected this circuit depends on it so this is something I'm working on for a future video but uh, right now, the uh, supercapacitor is what is powering the LED, and uh, we have a shot key diode there. So we can uh, unplug the capacitor and take the uh, voltmeter. The reason why I have this diode here is so that we can get a voltage reading at the rail. So push that up tight there and over here, and we're not getting anything, whereas at the uh, capacitor, Pastor has four volts across it right now and uh, nothing at the rail and we can reconnect the the rail I went one spot over so I only plugged into one spot but uh, I'll plug back in five volts and now when I take the measurement there there now you can see the five volts there so even though this is disconnected we can still power over here and now I will yank this out of the breadboard we don't have to worry about short circuiting anything other than ground to ground because all the grounds they they stay connected but now that we remove the ground to ground there the super capacitor doesn't have a place to discharge but the main thing we're looking at is those pins that stick out we can power other stuff even if this is not in a breadboard as long as it's out it will provide power to those uh, wires there. Of course if we turn it off it cuts the uh, power. So you still have to have this turned on but now we don't have to worry about short circuiting anything with that because we turned the uh, rail pins off. So if you're wondering about those pins that's all it is. It makes it an easy way if you have these uh, female to male jumpers to power something else.